Hello, N1CLC here with another installment of SOTA 360, a video series on how to do summits on the air. So in this episode, I'm going to go over very quickly on how to modify a log that you have already uploaded. Hopefully, um, you have a logging program like VK Portalog or something else for your Android device or OutD for your iOS device. Um, if you are interested in using OutD, which works for both platforms, I wrote an article uh, on that, and you'll find it at hamninja.com in uh, one of the reviews there. So what we're going to do is the scenario is you have entered a log somehow into SOTA data, and you have some bad data in there. It could be uh, the wrong call signs. You got some bad summit to summits in there. Um, because you entered the wrong summit reference and you want to change that but you can get some more points maybe. So we're going to go over that and uh, really quick I will take you through that step by step. So let's get started. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is create a file that I can upload to Soda Data so that you can see how to do that. And um, how am I going to figure out how to with the format? I've never done that before. So go up to Soda Soda Watch, which you should be familiar with. Go to the links, and then go to Database. From here, I'm going to jump. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just a little bit easier for you to read. I'm going to view results, my results, my activator log. Okay, so here's a whole bunch of logs. I'm just going to pick one and I'm going to download it. Now the file will be put in my downloads directory. So how do I find that? I'm in Chrome. I'll click the little button down here. I'll say show in folder and voila here it is. I'm going to double click that and because I have Excel installed um, you can see the format of the file. So you're like okay great what do I do now? So this is a general um, way it needs to be. It's partially filled in for you. The next step you need to do is just delete a few columns. These ones out here where it says points, bonus points, and activations. I'm going to right click and delete that. OK. And then I'm going to remember what this looks like. Um, the first column is always V2. The second column is always your call sign. Don't put my call sign, put yours. Um, the, the next um, column is the summit ID that you're on. The next one is the date. And look at the format. It has the day slash month slash year. And then the UTC time um, that the call was made. Here's the band, um, the mode and the call sign and then the other person's summit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all this stuff I'm gonna right click here and say delete and now I have a template and I can enter in my information so um, what I'm gonna do is show you one that I've already built and that it's ready to go and we are going to bring that up here really quick so this is my log. It's ready to go. I have my information in here about a summit that I did yesterday. And then I took out that very, very top column that had the header in it. That is, it had the names of each of these columns. That's important. If you don't do it, you'll get an error. OK, so I've saved this, and I'm going to upload it. I'm going to go through this pretty fast, I realize. but the wonder of YouTube you can just rewind and watch again so I'm gonna go into menus submit logs upload a CSV or TSV file now before I do that let me just show you one additional thing when we save these files out the format we want to use is CSV you'll notice in Excel there's a lot of different ways you can save it you want to save it comma delimited that's .csv. If you're using Google uh, Sheets, 
which I highly recommend because it's free. Um, the link in the description will show you how to do that and how to use that. So um, here we're going to upload this log. So I'm going to submit log. I'm going to upload a CSV or TSV file. I'm going to choose the file. And it's right here. It's my log. I've chosen it, and I'm going to upload it. It'll do a quick check. If I don't get any errors, I'm good to go. So now I'm going to submit this. And then I'm going to say I agree, even though this is a test, which I'll be deleting after this. It's a little one-point summit by my house. OK, so I'm done. Um, I've finished uploading, and um, I'm good to go. Now let's go and take a look at the log. I'm going to go to um, View Results, My Logs, My Activator Log. And there's going to be two things to look at here. So first of all, here it is. I can look at the log. And there it is. And you'll notice it doesn't have any of the Summit to Summits in there. And that's one of the things that I want to fix. So um, let's go and look at where the heck are those. So user, I'm going to go to um, View Results, uh, My Results, and I'm going to go My Summit to Summit Log. Now those should be in here. It's a little wonky, I realize, but it's in two different places. Your Summit to Summits are kept in a little bit different place. So as you can see, these two Summit, uh, the two last entries here, are Summit to Summit entries. Um, and we want to fix those. So let's go back really quick and we'll go through the steps. We want, how do we fix those? We're going to fix two things. We're going to fix a summit to summit and we're going to fix, uh, we're going to delete one of the contacts um, because it turns out I really didn't contact that person and I want to get the log right. Um, or I want to add somebody. So here do we go. We're going to do both of those things. So we're going to download the activator log. So let's do that. Um, then we're going to delete the Summit to Summit entry manually. So each of those Summit to Summits, we're just going to delete those manually. Okay? And um, we don't need to do that if you're not going to change them. In our case, we do need to fix one of them. So we'll just delete one of them. We're going to delete the activator log uh, for the summit. That was really good. And then we're going to modify the downloaded data file to be re-uploaded. So let's do that. Step number one, let's download that. We've already done it once before, but I'm going to take you through on how to do that. So we're going to go to Menu, View Results, My Results, My Activator Log. We're going to go to the last one down here, and I'm going to say download. Okay, this just got downloaded to my PC. I'm going to show it in a folder here. Now I'm going to actually move that to just so I don't lose my mind. So here's that newly downloaded file. I'm going to just go and call it fixed. Okay. I'm going to open it just to make sure that I can open it, that there aren't any issues. So I'm going to close the other one. Here it is. Here's the one that I've downloaded. Okay, so we said step number one, I've downloaded it. Open it to ensure you can. I'm going to delete the Summit to Summit entries that I need to delete. So let's go do that right now. Um, we're going to jump back over to the SOTA database. We're going to go to um, view results, my results, summit to summit log. Then we're going to go to that last summit to summit um, because it was SC, let's see, uh, I said it went to uh, CT235, which was wrong. So it was actually CT65. So I'm going to delete that from here. I'm going to delete that entry. Um, because the other one is worth more points. Okay, so we deleted the entry. Now we're going to delete the log. 
So I'm going to view results, my results, my activator log. We're going to jump to the end here, this Black Mountain one, and I'm going to delete it because I'm going to re-upload it. Oops, I chose download. Let's delete that guy. I'm going to delete it. Now make sure before you delete it, you, you can open the one you downloaded. So we've um, downloaded it. We've deleted the summit to summit entry. Um, we've deleted the activator log for the summit. Now we're going to modify the file. So it's actually 065. Um, CTO 65. So let's go in and update that guy. We're going to, it's the last entry, so it was for WA6IR. So you'll notice that when you download it, it doesn't give you any of your summit to summits, and that's why you need to delete them. If you don't delete them and try to re upload them with this, uh, the same exact ones, it will give you an error. So we said that the actual summit was W6CT-065. Okay. And this guy, this N4EX, never talked to him. Turns out he called me up and he said, look, that's just a bad entry. So let's just get rid of it. Okay. Now we have, we're almost done. Before we can upload this file, we need to do two things. We need to get rid of, no reason to have a comments in here, but we'll go ahead and leave it. Points. These last three columns, remember. So we're going to delete that. And then we're going to delete this very top row. Because if it doesn't see this V2 in this top row, it gives you an nice little error. So we're going to delete that. And this is the fixed file, so I'm going to save it. So it's ready to be re-uploaded. So let's go and do that now. So we've deleted it, we modified it, now we're going to upload the CSV file. Let's go back to the SOTA database, we're going to submit logs, we're going to upload a CSV, we're going to choose the file, and there's my fixed right there. Come on. We're going to upload that, and you can see it only has one entry, but remember that other one should still be there. Now we're going to resubmit it, we're going to agree, and there it is. So let's just double check that our work um, is complete. So we're going to view our results, go to my results, my activator log. Let's jump down to the end, and there it is. Um, it is SC338, and we're going to show the log. There's the log with that one uh, entry missing. I'm going to go back. Um, the other thing we're going to look at is going to submit. We're going to view results, my results, and my summit to summit log. And let's make sure that that other summit to summit entry is still in there. And yes, it is. The first one is in there. And this one to 453. And then this one to CT065 uh, is in there. So the one that we changed is now in there. So um, hopefully you realize that if you need to change your log, but you're not touching any of the Summit to Summits, you don't need to delete anything. But if you need to update your Summit to Summits, you need to delete them first and then go into and go through the procedure that we followed to um, download, update the data, and re-upload it. So hopefully um, those steps are clear. You go through download the activator log of the problem log, open it to ensure you can, delete the necessary summit to summit records, um, only if you need to change them. If you just need to delete a summit to summit, you can just go in there and delete it and you're done. Delete the activator log for the summit. Modify the download data and prep it to be re-uploaded. The cool thing is, is the data file they give you is just about ready to be 
it's it's upload ready you just need to delete the top row and those columns that are not needed and you're ready to go it's very very simple and then you go through the upload and then we should probably add one more verify so we went through and verified um, our work and um, voila we're done so there you have it I think we're all done here wasn't that exciting Thanks for watching.